Uh, hey everyone, this is my quick review of the Canon 60D. This was my first decent DSLR camera that I still use today and it has held up great and performed incredibly. Uh, I have the battery grip on there uh, just for extra battery power, which is always nice to have. And I'm a big dude, I'm 6'4", and so I have pretty big hands, and so it feels great in your hand. Uh, you just have like kind of extra stability and grip, um, and it doesn't add much weight. The total camera weight with the grip is maybe like, feels like one or two pounds, and so it's not heavy at all if you're doing... Uh, shooting, you know, all day long or at sports events or I don't know, whatever, and um, it, it doesn't fatigue your arm. Uh, the ISO performance is probably my only uh, kind of negative thing. Once you get above 1600, uh, it's not doesn't perform the greatest. You can start to see noise, but uh, for whatever reason, you have to go to 2000 or it push to 6400. It's a quick fix in you know Photoshop or Lightroom, and the picture will look great uh, with 18 megapixels. Uh, there's enough data there for you to still process it and bring the photo back and it, uh, it'll look great. Um, high speed continuous has 5 frames per second, uh, which isn't bad, but uh, if you're looking for sports and wildlife mainly, I'd probably recommend the 7D over this because uh, it has 8 frames per second. And with 5, it just it gets a tad slow. Um, with some of my classes for like photojournalism, um, shooting you know high school football, it uh, it'll miss some of the action. You know you get that one frame in between where it's like, oh, if I would have captured that, it would have been perfect or something. Uh, so I'd probably recommend the 7D if you're looking for something with you know the high frames per second. And the reason that I mainly bought this camera is because the little uh, tilty screen, uh, which is great for uh, macro, which is what I mainly use this camera for now. Uh, I have a Gitzo Explorer tripod with the off-center ball head, and so, you know, putting your camera into weird and funky positions, it was always hard to then uh, look through the viewfinder to focus it, and so, you know, you put it in live view, put the screen to where you can see it, it's easy to focus and, you know, change the shutter and aperture, and you can get, you know, incredible macro shots with it. Um, it is SD, it's not a full-frame camera. Um, I've used it for landscape, nature, portraits, time lapse, uh, star trails, everything in between, and it has held up extremely well. Uh, sadly, even dropped it a couple times on some trails, uh, trying to capture you know a deer running off in the woods or something. Uh, but it's held up great. Uh, no scuffs or dings really. Uh, it's, a, it's not weather sealed, I believe, but it. Um, you know, I've had it in the rain, uh, which probably isn't always the smartest idea, but it, it's always held up well. It's never had a problem with it. Um, I would highly recommend it for someone maybe just starting out in photography who is uh, maybe more serious as it as far as possible career or uh, general hobby, and they want a DSLR that'll perform well and is um, you know not higher end, but it's it's a decent camera that it'll it'll do what you want it to do. And so that's what I would highly recommend it for, or even um, professionals if you're looking for something for just strictly macro. Uh, I'd say it's perfect camera for macro, nature, and landscape. If that's the kind of uh, stuff you know you mainly shoot. Uh, and so if you have any questions about the camera in general, uh, please just let me know. And uh, if there's something I didn't cover, and I'll make a quick uh, video for it. And so I'll have more videos to come uh, with like some of the stuff from Rocky Mountain Ash Park with the 5D uh, and some lenses coming up. Uh, so subscribe to stay tuned for those. Uh, and as always, leave a comment or a message if you want me to review anything. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks.